For anyone who might have one of these little lights, 12 volt, now a lot of times they come with these cheap little Harbor Freight four and a half amp charge controllers, which it's actually, believe it or not, a, a functional charge controller. Um, if you have one of these little lights and your uh, bulb goes out because they, they don't last long, or you bought them on eBay or Amazon or something, little 12 volt light with the E27, you know, the Edison 27, then you can take this fixture and actually make a pretty nice light out of it. It's not that difficult. Now, you'll see that just by looking down in it, that there's they're both red wires. And in this case, it doesn't matter DC which side the DC goes on because it's a transformer, okay? Um, but you're going to need to know this when you put your uh, uh, wires on it for this next part. Now, what I've got here is I've got a G4, I believe it is. I believe it's a G4 bulb. And just by using one of these little connectors and a little weld glue to keep it from ever slipping off. And you get these connectors. They come with like the little light assemblies for the little square lights or something uh, for RVs or for overhead your lights. Well, you get, sometimes they send you four or five different ones. Now, what I've done is I've determined what side of this is hot and which not. Now, on these bulbs, the outside wire is, you know, you'll see it's a little offset. The outside one's always hot on these. It's always the positive. Now, this bulb right here is about um, 5 watts uh, DC. So it's, uh, it's very bright, very bright. It's got the 50s on it. So it's very bright, but it's about 5 watts DC. And this thing here, it claims it only draws about 5 watts, but it draws about 9. So it's not as efficient, it's not as bright, it's a real kind of goofy white light that's not very comfortable. And this one here is a warm white, and it is, um, actual reading on it actually is 4.92, so it's just it's 5 watts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and mount it in here, and then this cover will go back on it. Now for these to come apart, it's just got these little locks, and they'll just turn easily right out of this, and this cover just unscrews. So. What I've got is I have a piece of standard three quarter inch PVC and I started cutting it. So uh, I'm cutting it just the right length to where it's going to glue down in that little seat down in sight right there. And it'll glue really good. And this welder glue is really great stuff. Um, it, it don't come loose too easy. So we're going to be using it to glue this PVC in and put the bulb now here's the reason i'm using this is because if you'll notice the outside diameter is exactly three quarters of an inch of this bulb let me get it in there it, it will slip in but just freaking barely i mean just barely so it's it's about a less than a sh uh, paper sheet thickness of being tight and in this case, I will be able to just put glue around the whole thing. This is non-electric glue. It, it will not trans... It will do, no current can go through it. And I'm just going to gob it on real good. It'll insulate. It actually insulates well. And I'll just insulate it, and I'll stick that in there and let it dry. And then this little short piece will get glued in here. And it'll be crimped onto these wires. So, as you see here, be crimped onto the wires slip it up through as I glue that on with this hanging out then I'll glue it and let it sit put it back on and then here in my shop I have a 12 volt outlet that is using an E27 and we're, we're going to that's what this used to set in so this is my night light in here so I don't have to run these big huge strip lights which are you know inside my shop up in here and that way we have no need to run these because these pull um, about 16 watts total um, actually this one's 16 watts and these over here and over there for my you know lighting up my back walls back here uh, these pull all together at 21 watts because they're the smaller bulbs and I doubled them up and they they pretty make it real bright in here so and that's all I'm on I mean it's dark outside right now and there's there's just plenty of light in here so we're going to do this up to make my little night light that runs on about a uh, third of an amp okay so let me get this pulled apart and glue this up and you'll see the finish on it and i'll do a few steps 
I've, what I've done here is I've crimped, crimped them on according to positive and negative. And your positive, of course, is the center lead, which would be your contact here. And your negative is your outer body of your, uh, your threaded part there. And now I have put a lot of this glue around. I made sure this was down deep because these little tongs that are on the, these uh, contacts that are on the end of this light, they're quite long and they're about right into here. So, and then putting some of this here welder glue, very good stuff. Um, I, have, I have kind of lathered it over the top of this to make sure it don't come apart. It actually doesn't get real hard um, and it stay, remains a little bit flexible uh, for quite a while. So, this stuff right there and i put a link on there if you want to go get this you can get it in a lot and it's very durable stuff seals good too so we're going to take this and then we're going to take this piece of pvc uh, which in my case is about a two inch long piece and i'm going to slide it over that and i'll show you that okay and now what we've got here is we've got the tube over it and we're going to glue it into the base down here and it, it will fit very very nicely down in this base see it fits very nicely down in there and we're going to really hit it hard with the glue and then we're going to take this part and shove it back and i'm going to glue it into the pipe just just to almost to that first led right there Okay, so now what we've got is we've got a piece of PVC glued in, the wiring down inside, and you can see that that bulb is now glued in. i got to center it up a little bit and let it dry, and then we'll put the cover back on, throw that in the trash, with other trash from Harbor Freight probably, and um, see what it looks like. That was very dim. Let's see what this looks like. All right, now I've got the bulb glued in. So it's in there very nicely and it has sat for about four hours and what we're going to do now is we're going to put it with a little cover on it. Now that's what comes with it when you're using these and if you want to know what the inside of those look like, well, there it is. And um, kind of impressive really. <laughs> it's got a, got a set of starters, you know, transistor starters, and, but it burns a lot of power because it has all this in it. The bulb doesn't put out much, and it burns a lot because of this stuff. So this one was still, you know, good. This one was still good. It just took too much power. And when you live like I do off grid, you need to uh, you need to make adaptions. So look at this nice little setup here. We're gonna put this thing on here, and get it tight. Now, ain't that kind of neat? Now, I just made that light with a 75 cent bulb that I get, and you can see those. You can see at the beginning of the video what it looks like. I'll put a link in there if you want to find that bulb, and you can actually take, I mean, do this the same way if you'd like to make 12 volt lights for your camper or whatever by just taking one of these that's bad. And this is an LED 750 lumen. And you can even take this and put a bulb like that in it too. This is just pressed on. And these are just, uh, these little tabs back here will just pop out and you can run your wires up. And when you press this back on, it will uh, pinch your wire for your negative and, and you can have the, uh, the other wire. You'll see what I mean when you just take a knife and just kind of pop that off the top. You'll see that you can actually put the bulb in these two and you'll have 12 volt versions of these you see so not too hard so if you get one that goes out don't throw them away they're reusable for this kind of purpose all right so now we're going to put this one up here inside and up inside here now i've left the switch on so we get to see what it looks like here and i am using an e27 like i said So let's take a look up here and we will see, look how bright that is. That is real bright. And these all these lights are off in here. They're all off. There's no other light source. This is very bright. It is every bit a good solid 200% brighter than this. And it's a nice light. It's not, uh, I mean, you can look at the paper here. 
it's not a dim light it's a good light and it's a night light that only burns about five watts of real uh, about just just under five watts of power not bad i can leave it on all the time and my tool room area back here stays well lit as i go through here in the evenings and i don't have to worry about running into things like oh crazy border collies all right guys i'll put you some links maybe help you out